welcome to Arusha. Now, if you're planning a trip to Tanzania, then Arusha will most likely be a part of your itinerary, especially if you're planning to do the Northern Safari Circuit, which includes Lake Manyara, Ngorongoro Crater, and the Serengeti National Parks. Arusha is a very beautiful town that's surrounded by hills and beautiful forests, and it's also home to Mount Meru. After landing in Tanzania, we spent our first night in the town of Arusha before heading out to a beautiful accommodation right outside the town. For the next two nights, we have escaped the hustle and bustle of Arusha city and we've come about 45 minutes away from the city and we've just checked into this really beautiful Airbnb that is honestly one of the coolest Airbnbs that I've ever stayed in. This here is Nyumban Doto. It's been built on the top of a hill and so you get some beautiful views. Come, let me show you guys. Hi, Dago. How are you, Dago? You good boy. So this is a couple owned home and they have two beautiful dogs that stay here. So this here is the beautiful Nyumban Doto. It's sort of like a container mixed with brick type of design. And so when you enter in, you have this beautiful kitchen. It's a self catering house. And so you have to bring your own stuff so that you can cook here. Again, it's about 45 minutes away from the city. So when you're coming here, you need to buy your groceries, which we kind of didn't do. But luckily there's a restaurant that's down the hill, uh, which you can order from. Apparently it's an India restaurant. And there's also a barbecue restaurant next to it, which we'll be ordering from today. Right over here, you've got a beautiful sitting room. I love the furniture, the way everything has just been set up. Every tiny little detail, it looks so amazing. All the doors are glass doors and so throughout the day, if you're inside the house, you can enjoy the beautiful views at all times. Come in here and we've got the bedroom. This is a master bed. Um, unfortunately, I won't be sleeping on this bed because I'm traveling with Zanel and yeah, she kind of gets first priority. So luckily for me, there's a sofa in the sitting room that kind of opens up into a bed. I'll be sleeping there. Sadly. This is one of the coolest bathrooms. It has such a luxury feel to it. Uh, you got the toilet, a nice cubicle for the shower. These lights are super cool and then when you come outside over here unfortunately at this time they're maintaining this is supposed to be a swim a plunge pool and you swim while you're watching this view but yeah it's under maintenance i love how every single detail has been put together to make this place so homely but then again a couple lives here usually when there's no guests they have the life because look at this view and so the sun sets right over those hills you've got a beautiful sitting area you've got a fireplace hills everywhere this is a dream if we come upstairs this here is the second story you've got a dining table and a lounging area with a 270 degree view of these hills along with the sun that will set right over there Zanilion. You can come out, I'm done with the vlog. Oh, I'm coming. Thank you. <laughs> kind of locked her in the store so that I could film the vlog. A really amazing thing about this house is that it's completely sustainable. Um, the guys who built it are into conservation and so even around here they've been replanting indigenous trees and apparently some of the birds that had never been seen here for so many years started returning back because of planting these trees so everything in this house has been made with recycled and upcycled material i don't know what upcycled means but that's what that book says i'm just portraying the information for you guys uh, so all this has been made by local craftsmen all recycled to create this beautiful little home Sunsets do not get any better than this. Whoa. Later that evening, we went out to meet a new friend that we made. His name is Tahir and Tahir actually helped us out by paying for our taxi to our accommodation when we got to Arusha. So Tahir told us about this place that apparently serves the best Nyama Choma here in Arusha. It's called Andrews and he's invited us with the rest of his family. So uh, we're going to be having some goat ribs and some chicken. So Nyama Choma is a Swahili term that means roasted meat. It could either be goat meat, chicken or beef. They'll marinate it and roast it and serve it to you with a couple of different sauces or salads. You take the chicken, you dip it on this super cool sauce. Mm. So good. Mm, that's 
that sauce is actually really chilly. The next day, we woke up extremely early and we were picked up by a guide called Masanja. A 30 minute drive later at the back of a side benched four wheel drive. I think that's what they're called. And we made it to a beautiful forest called Meru Forest at the foot of the mountain. And it was time to hike down to a waterfall called Napuru Falls. Right now we're walking through a forest called Meru Forest and it's about 8,000 hectares of beauty but the crazy thing is this part of it is natural the rest of it has been planted over 20 years to form this beautiful forest and the descent begins to the waterfall look at the size of this tree here so this is one of the natural trees this is called an african mahogany tree and it's got to be more than 12 meters long that is a huge tree so Masanja said this tree is a hundred years old. Look at it. Just look at it. So we're going down a bunch of steps that are so uneven and my knees can really feel that pain. <laughs> but not even 10 minutes in and I have to say this is one of the most beautiful forests that I've ever hiked. So this water over here apparently is fresh water coming down from Mount Meru and you can actually drink it. Oh, it's cold. Woo! That's fresh. We're getting closer and closer to the waterfall and we're passing all sorts of cool sorts of showers just falling down from above. <laughs> Whoa. I feel like I'm Tarzan right now. You got some kids and some old ladies carrying some wood. They're taking them by the stream. Uh, I think they're heading back to the entrance. What a hike and they're carrying all that wood on their heads. Apparently there's some colobus monkeys that are here but we haven't seen any so far. So I think we should do a colobus monkey call. Kick, 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 kick. Kick, 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 kick. Yeah, that was me. I was calling the colobus. Oh my gosh. It's all starting to make a little more sense to me. So this whole area that we've been hiking through to get to the waterfall is what's natural. And then right around it, there's grown trees which they'll harvest for timber. So the part that's natural, they don't touch it at all. They could, they're not allowed to cut any trees. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a quagmire. <laughs> it's not her dress. It's the Nikes that are underneath. Just do it. <laughs> Take some serious skill to hike with a dress like that, huh? <laughs> wow, this journey has become a bit hectic. I think I need to change to my top. I can't pull this off with a dress. <laughs> you can do it. Okay, for it's all the of you Instagram. Guys, you must be wondering why I'm hiking with a dress. It's because we're taking shots as we're getting along. I'm not the dumb person to hike in a dress. <laughs> I got my tights, okay? Leave me alone. That's the Instagram life. Do it for the gram. <laughs> There's so much variety in this forest, like the amount of times the scenery has just changed along this hike, probably one of the best hikes I've ever no. been on. And it's such an easy hike, it's not very difficult. This is beautiful, wow. This is so cool. No way. That right there is Napuru Waterfall. So here's the thing. I'm a little bit underwhelmed, but also still satisfied because this is very interesting. So it looks like a large hole from the top of this cliff that's just spraying water down onto the ground and that distance at which it's falling that's got to be at least 20 meters of a drop and you can just see that mist rising back up when the water hits the rock so you stand here the waterfall is just opposite me and you feel all the wind just coming this way it's so cold and it's so strange because we're surrounded by all these cliffs and yet all that wind is coming just from this direction that's really really fascinating
Whoa, look at this bug. It's so shiny. That was such a wonderful hike and a wonderful waterfall. Unfortunately, I couldn't swim because it was too cold. So now it's time to make our way back. So I was walking around and looking for places where I could take some nice photos. And while I was walking, I ended up stepping on, I think it was an anthill or something, or there was just a bunch of ants there. And so I started feeling some ants climbing up my legs. One bit me. When we were making our way here, we were like literally strolling through this forest. And now we're making our way back and we're rushing. Just for no reason, just to end the hike. <laughs> I'm hungry. I need food. Can't go any longer. My constant battle with waterfalls is that the hike back up is always so torturous. But I mean, justified because it's a waterfall. But still, the last steps, we're almost there. We did it! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for taking us down there. Yeah. Oh, you are welcome. Real OG. Oh, oh, look at you. We're back at the Airbnb where they've set up a beautiful bonfire for us, and it's our final night here at this amazing place. And in Arusha in general, it's been such a fun time exploring Arusha and meeting new people, and I can't wait to explore the rest of Tanzania. Tomorrow, we'll be heading off to Serengeti to see the wildlife here in Tanzania. So, if you're new here and you want to see the rest of this series, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps these videos go along way and for YouTube to push them to more people so with that thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one peace